there's still a lot of uh, exams to go, so I've got two weeks left in Star City. We're focusing on the Sawyer's trip and uh, passing those exams. Then I'll be heading down to quarantine in Baikonur. Uh, I've had the benefit of being a backup crew six months ago, so I've seen all this, and, and that really installs a lot of confidence in, in the system. I know what's coming up, which has probably helps to, to keep me calm in these situations. Yeah, no two days are the same really in space. We, we get up in the morning and um, we look at the scientific activities that you have uh, during the day. Um, and your job really is to manage the, that science and manage all of the payloads. But um, you could be preparing for an EVA, a spacewalk, you could have a visiting vehicle coming up, robotic activities. Um, you could be doing some hardware change outs on the space station. Um, so really that's very fluid situation. You have to uh, remain very flexible. We've got a whole range of scientific activities going on. As an astronaut, you kind of join the party, if you like, uh, and the science program carries on. Your job is to be trained on how to operate the payloads and manage those experiments. We're doing things uh, in fluid physics that are exciting, material science. We're looking at developing new metal alloys, which are stronger and lighter than anything we've made here on planet Earth, which is really exciting. And hopefully we can develop technologies to improve things like aircraft engines, uh, improve fuel combustion techniques, that kind of thing. And also a lot of medical research as well, which will have a great impact on people back here on Earth.